Welcome back, guys. <clears throat> um, I thought I'd do a video today of <clears throat> a nice spin on Arch um, by YouTuber Midfinger. Now, he has done um, a lot of instructional videos uh, for Linux and in particular Arch Linux, and I've learned a lot by watching his videos. And so uh, a while back he did a, a spin on Arch <clears throat> with um, kind of an LXDE, I, I guess, um, interface called Linux GT. And I thought that was pretty nice. And I had reviewed it back then and <clears throat> I, uh, I thought it was a really nice Nicely done. Uh, but I think Midfinger has outdone himself on this new one. It's a um, an Arch install. Um, it has the installer, uh, basically the architect installer built in. So if you've been wanting to give Arch a try, this would be perfect for you because you can take the uh, simplicity of the architect installer and go, go through the process get it installed and have it looking basically the same way mine does which is really really nice terrific wallpaper the only thing I, I, I changed a couple things one is I changed the um, icon on um, the whisker menu and also I noticed that the uh, settings printer settings was not installed do you see this let's see print settings this particular program uh, wasn't installed but there was a web interface for cups that's a little bit tough to use. This one's a little bit easier. Um, and the way I did that, let me see. I will pull that up for you. Okay, so all you have to do is install it. sudo pacman s system config printer run that in your terminal after you're done with your install and you will have this little print settings program which makes it a little bit easier to configure your printer I didn't see that in the original install so I added it myself I also added this con key and I went through and and uh, installed basically everything that I usually install, which is uh, Synapse, Redshift, uh, P-Sensor, Clipit, and Caffeine. Everything installed fine. Then I went ahead and installed all of the <clears throat> normal apps that I install and everything um, vocal screen I'm using right now to make this video, Voco Screen, but OpenShot, OBS, Kodi, Kazam, GUVC View, they all installed. The nice thing also about it is um, Midfinger has not overloaded it with software, so you've got some uh, software installed but then you're, you're able to uh, install the ones that you want. Uh, but it does come with a, a basic system. And it's so well put together, so well designed. Everything goes together perfectly. The theme, I haven't changed anything on the theme, the icons. It all looks really, really good. So uh, Midfinger's YouTube page has all the information that you need. Um, if you go back to this video here, and that's the Arch Linux Midfinger installation video. Once you're done installing and you can follow his instructions step by step, 
then come over here and do the post installation video and go through everything that he reviews with you and you will have a really nice nicely functioning arch install so as i said if you've ever been wanting to give arch a try this is the one for you it's really well put together and um <clears throat> I and I'm all, and I'm sure all of the uh, other uh, downloaders of this particular distribution uh, really extend uh, thanks to Midfinger for making this available. So that's the uh, that's it for this video, guys. Uh, again, please give that Midfinger install a try. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care, guys.